hello everyone welcome back to the channel and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at an intellion deck for training event. intellion is a card that came out in i believe our rebel clash expansion and it's a pretty great card as a whole and in training event, i think it has gotten better and people are kind of sleeping on this card and in today's video i thought we should take a look at it so intellion intellion has the main attack we're going to be going for um, Hydro Snipe, 60 damage, return an energy card from your opponent's Pokemon into their hand. So, pretty great disruption effect on the first attack and the second attack, Hydro Snipe, 160 damage to the active and 60 damage to your opponent's bench. Pretty great damage as a whole to you. So, yeah, Italian has a lot going on for it, but what I think here is that Italian is mainly great with a Green's Exploration combo. Um, Green's Exploration, get to grab, you get to grab 2 cards from your deck and 2 trainer cards you want as long as you have no Pokemon's abilities in play so the Intellion line has no abilities pretty self explanatory, you can green for anything you want and um, Green's could grab us 2 Koshi Hammers kind of disrupting our opponent's energy cards from their Pokemon we could grab a fan of waves here um, slowing the opponent by getting rid of their special energy cards or we could go with a flannery here getting rid of the special energy or add the stadium card in play so yeah we have a bunch of ways to get rid of our opponent's energy cards in this deck list we also have melanie here and uh, melanie we get to attach a water energy card from our opponent from our um discard pile sorry to one our to one of our pokemon v then join three cards is a pretty good supporter card as a whole and we play some copy of shell here to heal up our um Inteleon. and yeah that's basically just the deck list we are going to be trying this out on the ptcgo ladder and if you want to try this deck list out for yourself you can find it in the description of this video so without further ado let's begin so anyways we found the matchup to go up against let's see what to up against and we get a mulligan turn one which is all right by our standards we still have reset stamp to slow down our opponent's hand so let's see what my opponent is going to play so we're going to take the mulligan here so we get our Intellion and Intellion V Max in hand and uh, we get a Rugged Helmet uh, We don't quite get Green's Exploration but we still have Cynthia and Caitlyn Join 3 cards, recovering the Spotter card if we have one We're up against the Tornado's V Max I am going to opt to just possibly just add the Rugged Helmet just to show off their um, in case they go for a blue chew on us they get to turn an energy card back into their hand and hydro snipe return more energy cards back into their hand or you could possibly even take out their hound their hound doors on the bench so yeah could bust others one of their hound door take a KO on that So let's see if they go for the attack here. That quick balling away a uh, oil vitality. So that could be troublesome for them because um what we are still playing Koshi Hammers in this deck list. So let's see what my opponent does here. So they choose not to attack into us. And we are just going to knock out their hound door right there. And we get Guzman Hala while bumping their stadium to path to the peak, making sure they don't get access to Cobats or the Denis here. So that's the power right there they basically have nothing else to do unless you have the research so yeah they do have the research to get out of this hand and 
they discard the Hound Doom, so you only have three left in deck, I believe. Uh, we are getting rid of their energy here with Hydro Snipe. Uh, we could since and Kate then grab the boss's orders back and move on from there. Or if they ghost us up with the boss's orders, we can use a Guzman Hala, get an energy card, a um, tool card, another object helmet, and a um, special energy we could grab, I believe. So we're definitely going to go for Guzman Hala here. Going to bump their stadium here. I will say that I could add in a Marshadow in this deck list. Marshadow gets rid of a stadium card in play so that we can have part of the pick priority against our opponents. They discard the tornadoes, join two cards. So we're definitely gonna go for oh you just join to the part of the peak, so there's not really much we need there. Gonna grab the boss orders, join the extra three cards. Uh we're just gonna hide your sniper our opponents, returning back that single strike energy back into their hand and they are forced to attach it and I believe they have no ways to shuffle it back into their deck and accelerate it with Hound Doom because of the um so they are bumping our stadium card again and we have to get grab another part to the peak. So that's why I was saying I wanna go for the Marshado and our opponent just scoops so yeah, that's going to be game one to us. Although that wasn't really a game, we could. We're going to game two and we're going to see how this deck works. So, yeah, stay tuned. Alright, welcome back to game two, everyone. Game one wasn't too much of a game, but let's see what game two has in store for us. Um. So we're getting off another mulligan. So what I've noticed is that we're getting quite a lot of mulligans here because you are only realistically playing one Italian line. We're not really playing any other Pokemon in this deck list. So yeah, it's kind of to be expected. You're basically gonna mulligan every single game, but you have reset stamp to drop your opponent and you also have Green's exploration. So those are ones to take in mind. Uh, we get Green's Exploration turn 1 with a part to the peak. So, yeah, we could lock our opponent here. If they're playing the Zacian here, we could stop them from going for an Intrepid Sword. And uh, we are definitely going to grab a. Um, probably an Evolution Incense and a Rugged Helmet for next turn. Attach. And uh, we also have the Shell combo I was going on about. You could shell, 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 then go with Melanie, our opponent can't keep up. If our opponent can't go a one hit KO, it's basically game force. So the only way I'll say that you can beat this deck is if you're playing something like a lightning deck. That could be troublesome for you because this deck list isn't good against lightning just out of the back. And they are playing the dust score line, so it's probably the dust score, the dust clubs from build voltage that locks our special energy. And they are probably going for a shifu here because the upshake. Wait, why would they discard the upshake energy? Doesn't really make much, much of any sense here. They only have four of that, they only play four copies of upshake energy, so. I don't really understand why they discarded that from their hand and they are going down to it's basically game force or basically wonders. I mean you only have two upper check energies left in deck. I mean they are playing mustard but at the end of the day they are down by two upper check energy and we are gonna bench anything so Not really good for them. They're 
are going to escape poop. So if they attach a fighting energy here, you could go for a double crushing hammers and they are still discarding cards with their hand. That's why I don't really like the mustard combo with um Happy Strike Eshifu. I just think it isn't worth it. And did it just forget did my opponent just forget that we have a part to the peak in play or Yep, and um, this is basically game force. So you can attach Green's exploration, possibly just grab a rugged helmet. And do we have the evolution intent in deck? Yeah, we do. So I should have gone for Green's exploration, grab on the green, but I don't really think you need to. Um, my, my opponent can't draw a sporter card off of this um Jirachi. I'm basically gonna take two prize cards here. So yeah. I forgot the Mew is still in play, but if they can't draw a sporter card off of this Jirachi, yeah, it's basically game for us right now. This could pop net, so they still have another Jirachi here. Possibly trying to dig for a research. If they don't grab a research here, if they grab a mustard, it's basically game because there's not too much they can do. They grab a Poke Gear 3.0. So that might find them a spotter. And that's another switch. So I'm not using this hand anyways. Let me see. Um do only got much here, but we can knock out the dust clops. Then we have a great catcher. So if they go for the Denny, that's a G Max that's a hydro that's a max bullet. For two price cards, so we are definitely going to go for the double Koshi Hamas here. So I'm just going to grab a caution hammer and a boss's orders for next turn. I want to get rid of that meal as quick as possible. So next turn, I'm just going to boss up the Mew, take that out, then go for a G-Max Hydro Snipe on the Jirachi and the Meowth on the bench and basically going to call it up some there. And we have a ton of options here as you can see. Um, we have Power Pad to recover back our um, greens. We have um, Cynthia and Caitlyn. So call back more of our supporter cards just in case you want into something like a middle deck or any other deck like that you will have the fighting chance against them so then top deck mode on let's define a stadium card here to bump ours Going for an evolution incense, but that can't grab them anything unless they have a, a mustard in hand. Could draw them five cards. 
yeah they'll probably have they probably have the mustard play yeah i pretty much knew they had mustard Going to scoop up net. Probably going for a guild trust here. And yeah, the bench down did it any. So yeah, and we had the parts of the peak in play. So either ways, just two game force. Anyways, that's going to wrap up the video with Intellion. I know I didn't really show the deck that much, but gonna try and have more games to tell you and try and show it off quite a bit more so anyways remember to drop a like and subscribe you want to see more content like this and i'll catch you guys next time peace out